Hey, it's Jeff. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to water a jade plant. This can be applied to both the summer and winter. Obviously, the frequency of watering is a little bit different between the two seasons, so I'll talk about that as well as some other basic care tips. As I know, a lot of people have difficulty with succulents in general and uh, jade being one of them. So uh, I hope this video helps you care for your plants so that they continue to grow and thrive and not develop root rot. I have two different style of jades. This is the tree form and this is more of a bush style. These are all cuttings from the mother plant back here, which is about 14 years old. Uh, these tree form ones are about four years old right now. And uh, the bush style one here is actually uh, leaf propagations from about two years ago, I think. So they're looking really, really good. And I'm gonna show you some, I guess, tips to determine whether or not to water your jade plant. And it's not only determined just by the soil, but there's a few other things that I'll show you here as well that uh, will tell you whether the plant needs to be watered. So like I said, the frequency of watering is a little bit different between summer and winter. Uh, with these plants in particular, I probably water maybe once a month, and this is just a very vague general rule. And in the summer months, I probably water once every two weeks or so. So the reason why you cut back on watering over the winter months is you have to kind of think of it as the plant needing three ingredients. So one being sunlight, nutrients, and water. Um, through the winter months, the sun is not as intense or strong. So it's not uh, actively growing or the plant is not uh, pushing out as much growth as it does in the summer. So that means it's not using as much nutrients in the soil. So you don't really have to fertilize. And that also equates to not using as much water. So if you water your plant like you would throughout the summer months, that's how it develops root rot. The plant doesn't utilize or bring up as much uh, or use as much water as it normally would. So it just uh, basically sits in the soil. So that's why you cut back watering over winter. And uh, as spring approaches, then you, I guess, increase the watering frequency so that um, when the plant pushes out new growth, it has all the requirements. So the sun, nutrients and uh, water. I'm gonna use these two plants as examples. One needs water, which I'm gonna water today, and the other one doesn't. So obviously the first thing you wanna check is the soil. Succulents do not tolerate sitting in wet soil. So you wanna let these uh, basically dry out completely, and they are bone dry right now, both of them. Uh, the soil is, uh, yeah, there's no moisture in it at all. So the way I tell whether or not it needs to be watered is actually by the leaves. Succulent leaves or jade leaves, they're very thick, they're very plump, and you should not be able to bend them. So if they're able to flex a little bit like this, then it's time for water. This one over here, you can see, they're very rigid. Um, they do not fold easily. If you have a plant that uh, needs water, like the soil is dry and the leaves are wrinkly, they look dehydrated like uh, dried up raisins, then that's another sign um, that they need some water as well. But try not to get it to the wrinkly point. That's a little bit uh, too far, just to the point where you're able to slightly or just easily bend them. That means that it needs water. So that's my little trick on how to know when to water a, a jade plant. I always use a well draining soil for my uh, succulents and I always use a cactus succulent soil. Just allows for a really quick draining soil so that it doesn't retain moisture for too long. Uh, one of the main ingredients in this type of soil is sand. So that just allows for uh, good drainage. Um, another important thing that I always recommend for succulents is a terracotta pot. These pots are really good at absorbing soil moisture lower in the pot. They're very porous, so they basically soak up the, uh, the moisture and then evaporate it out. These are a really good choice for uh, succulents, and I got these at the dollar store for, I think it's like a two pack for like two bucks or something like that, but uh, really good choice for succulents. Another thing I do before watering the plant is I just feel the weight of the pot. Obviously this is a larger plant, so it's gonna be a little bit heavy, but you can feel that the pot itself is uh is pretty light so after you give it some water just feel the weight difference between the two and that way next time you can know whether the soil is dry just by feeling the weight of the pot watering in the summer and winter is still pretty much the same like i will thoroughly water it but uh, just the frequency is obviously less so i'll just put a little bit of water here on the top first i'll let that kind of soak through if it is not draining really fast like kind of how it is right now. Um, this is probably going to need a repot soon. The soil is pretty dense. Uh, so that just allows the soil to, actually it's not going too bad right now. But if it's not draining and if it's just sitting on top, that probably means your soil is too dense. It's too uh, compact and it probably needs a repot. 
So it's actually not draining too bad. I'm just gonna give it water till it comes out the bottom of the drain hole. So I'm gonna give it a good soaking this time. Let's just see it uh, drain through. Checking to see come out the bottom, which it is not yet. I can already feel the weight difference uh, between the, uh, the dry soil and the wet soil. So yeah, it's draining pretty good actually. That's what you want to see with a good draining soil, is it basically just uh, drain all the way down, but obviously it soaks the roots as it goes down through the soil and out the bottom of the pot. So still not coming out the bottom. I'm gonna give it some more water. I'm gonna give it another good soaking here. So it's probably used about uh, three quarters of the can so far in this uh, small little pot. I don't know if you can see it in there or not, but it's almost taken the whole pot. So that, uh, this really needed a good thorough watering. It was pretty bone dry. It's still not coming out the bottom, that's crazy. A couple drips out the bottom now. It's significantly heavier. So I know it's uh, well watered, even though it's not like draining or just like gushing out the bottom there. So I might give it just a little bit more. It's always nice if you can just like pull the plant out of the pot. This one's pretty in there. Yeah, it's not coming out, but sometimes you can pull the plant out and you can actually see if the soil is, uh, has gotten some water at, at the bottom because that's obviously where the roots are. So I'm not gonna give it any more water. I'm gonna put it back in its uh, sunny location near my south facing window and uh, I'll probably water it, like I said, in about another month or so. Now I'm going to water the bush style one. Look at this, this one's absolutely gorgeous. This is leaf burn. If you notice that, it was, whoops, it's fallen off anyway, so I'm just gonna take that off. Okay, so the process is the same as with the other jade. I filled up this uh, watering can and I'm just going to soak the soil. Get my hand out of the way. This one's coming out the bottom already. Oh no, maybe not, it was draining out the side. It's tough to see on this one, but uh, same thing. It's uh, it's draining down pretty fast. I'm just gonna keep watering it until it comes out the bottom. It's weird, it's bubbling at the bottom. I've never seen that before. Okay, it's already coming out the bottom. I can feel the weight of the pot is um, significantly heavier as well. I'm just gonna give it one more good soaking. So I've used probably about two thirds of the can for this small little pot. So that's how I water my uh, plants. I'm sure there's other opinions and stuff out there, but I like to uh, give these guys a good soaking, let them dry out. And like I said, I'll probably end up watering these in another month or so. So that's gonna be pretty much it for this jade watering video. I hope you found it useful and can apply it to your plants at home. Thanks for watching my videos. Take care everyone, bye.